Well, today is a good one because, in my opinion, if you want to ride a sporting motorcycle on the street, there are no two better motorcycles than the new Aprilia Tuono Factory and the KTM Super Duke R, which is our motorcycle of the year of 2014, one of the best motorcycles we've ever ridden. Now, the, uh, the Tuono is upgraded this year. In 2014, we did a huge Street Fighter comparison. We took them to the track, five different bikes, MV, Z1000, Kawasaki, Ducati Monster, and uh, you can uh, click on that link right here. And, uh, and then we took them on the street, the BMW S1000RR and the Super Duke elevated itself to the top of the game. And then we got the Tuono 1000, got it in our ultimate Street Fighter shootout with the S1000R, the Super Duke and the Tuono. The Super Duke just edged out the 1000cc Tuono. Yeah, I think we kind of fell in lust with the Tuono. Uh, the Super Duke, though, it was the best motorcycle, best all-around motorcycle of the group. And so, now with the new Tuono 1100, uh, we had to re-rack this uh, thing. They already beat the BMW and, oh yeah, the Ducati Monster 1200R. It's a new bike for this year. But Ducati didn't think it really fit in with this Street Fighter group for some reason. So, no Ducati Monster. Sorry, uh, we would have liked to have it here if we could have had it, but we couldn't. So, cream of the crop against the new updated contender. And boy, we couldn't have uh, two better street bikes in a canyon. We also took them to Button Willow Racetrack and we had a blast there. You th people think you need a big racer replica and be grabbing the front axle to go fast around a racetrack. Not true. These things were ripping up past guys with number plates and stuff. We had a blast on there. Rode it up to Button Willow, rode it back home. It was like a couple hundred miles. We, we did everything you can do on these motorcycles. And you know which one's better? No, we don't either. It's that close. It's really the tipping balance is right there. Tom, could you pick one as your best, your favorite? Uh, not yet. You know, as close as that last shootout was, this one's probably even closer. It kind of sounds ridiculous, but Aprilia really upped its game this year with this 1100cc Tuono. Uh, my God, you know, from making the seat just a little bit, you know, cushier yep. and the power that this thing puts out. Uh, KTM did add cornering ABS right. this year, which, you know, was actually a lot bigger of a uh, upgrade than we thought. You know, we're kind of thinking, oh, they just downloaded something new to the ECU, but that's not true. They had to add an IMU to it. Right. So, you know, and they kept the price the same. The KTM is 400 bucks more than the Aprilia, so the, the prices are just about the same. And uh, Interesting though, 1301cc of the KTM, we know it's a torque monster. What surprised us is on the freeway, we're doing roll-on side-by-side, and the Aprilia took off on the KTM. Different gearing, uh, I, I think, has some uh, played a role in there, because that does have more torque, but... And then on Button Willow, on the straightaways, like, how close were they down the straightaway? They're super tight with each other. I think we were both surprised, Kevin, that the Aprilia was, it was able to pull the KTM. You mentioned it to me the first time, you know, I'm not sure what part of the day it was, but then we had swapped bikes, and yeah, same thing. I was pulling up next to you if we had a little bit str longer straightaway, the pass would have been paid and going into the, uh, turn one. So uh, again, Aprilia, yeah, what they've done with that motor, just bumping it 100 cc is just insanely impressive. Yeah, I think it's even only 77 cc, but it really makes the bike a lot more fun on the street. And people who think you need an RSV4 for your street bike, uh, I disagree. I think this is a far better street bike. It's a far better street motor and it still rips on the track. I think part of its acceleration uh, advantage it might have had is because of the quick shifter, right? The KTM still doesn't have the quick shifter, but the Aprilia does. Not a auto blipping down shifter, but up shifts, hold it pinned, and uh, yeah, screams. The, the, the v -tw I love V-Twins. V-Twins are awesome, but really when you talk about sex appeal of motors, it doesn't get better than the V4 and the Aprilia, does it? No, that bike, it, it just sounds phenomenal. I mean, I actually, I thought about it if it was my bike that I owned. I might get a little tired of it when I'm wanting to be quiet. You know, I'm coming home, it's one o'clock in the morning or something, I don't want to piss off the neighbors. It's a little loud. Yeah, I'm surprised. We said this for a while. We don't know how they get that past, you know, emissions and sound testing into the, you know, but whatever. They do it and it does, it sounds awesome. Yeah, At the track, care. huh? I, I don't care how they do it. I just yeah, like it. <laughs> Actually, we don't give a shit. It sounds great. Keep doing it, Aprilia, keep doing it. But I would like to go back to what you mentioned. Yes, this is a far better street bike than the RSV, but I would contest that this is probably a little bit better street bike between the two. 
The cornering ABS, I think, is a more important technology to have as far as riding safe on the street. Uh, the seating position, you know, it's a little bit more upright for a person of uh, my height, 5'11", 6 foot and above. You're going to love the leg room this guy has. Right while still having tons of cornering clearance. The Chuono has a little bit more. You know, we didn't deck the pegs on that at all, and we did a little bit on this guy. KTM does make a nice factory rear set package that if you want to get with this. I tried that at the bike's initial launch and never touched anything down after that. So you can make this more track worthy, but between the two, handling wise, just like the RSV, this is a magic carpet chassis ride that's just, I don't know, it's just fantastic. And with the wide bars, you could just place the Tuono anywhere you need it on the track, mid corner, going into the corner. Somebody's crashing in front of you. You just ride <laughs> around them. Fantastic. Yeah, the Tuono handles so good. I think if you had to pick a lapse time around a racetrack or even a, a, a canyon road, I, I'd pick the Aprilia to set my time on. Not that that would be far behind because the KTM's motor is so good. You have your choice of a couple of gears. It just grunts and hauls ass. But this does feel like a more, more of a scalpel compared to this. Th this is really a great street bike and I, I see what you mean what you, when you're saying that you know for a street bike you might lean toward that the the KTM because it does everything so well and the suspension we were talking earlier the the Torno factory has a full O-lead suspension with titanium nitride forks there should be nothing better but you know the, the WP suspension on the KTM might have a greater breadth of, of performance it works good on track we had Dave Moss uh, do some uh, tuning for us at the track. He dialed these things in so nice. And th then the coming back on the KTM, it just soaks up the bumps so nicely. It's, uh, it's really phenomenal how comfortable it can be and yet such a high performance machine. Well, in terms of streetability as well, you know, the KTM does have a nice big passenger accommodations. Uh, you know, I've been with the wife on this one and you know, it, it's great for two up. It still handles great performance wise uh, you know cool factor it's got a single-sided swing arm mm -hmm. that's always you know at the track big deal but you know on the street it's just a cool look not to say that the Aprilia is ugly but you know it's just again it just is a more you know trackable bike yeah, and again small distinctions the Aprilia has uh, M432 Brembo's on it which are great brakes but the KTM has the M50's which we can't stop raving about they're very close. Uh, I don't want to say that's much better, but those are the better brakes, and I still haven't found a better set of street brake calipers on any production street bike. They're amazing. You ride this bike by itself, that's going to be a fantastic front mm -hmm. brake setup. But when you jump off of it on the hill, you're like, oh wow, that's just a little bit better. You can feel it, control it, modulate it yeah. easier. Um, yeah, the suspension wise too. It's tough because we always kind of like lean towards old leans and be in the, the top tier, but yeah. This WP just seems the suppleness of it to pick up the, you know, in the street when you're going down the freeway, the cracks and cuts that they have. It just seems to handle them a little bit better. And, and here's another just small distinction. The, the WP fork, it has uh, twisty knobs on the top, one side for compression, one side for rebound, which is great because you can just like dial it up even when you're riding. On the other hand, it doesn't have front preload, which of course the Aprilia's Oleans does. So it's like, a little bit of this of an advantage and a little bit the other side. It's, they're so close. I, really, I, we're going to go to the scorecard, right? We got to go to the scorecard, count the votes. But they are so close, I honestly can't say how it's going to shake out. If I had to pick one as my personal favorite, a subjective favorite, as far as which one I'd really rather have in my garage, I think I'd lean toward the Aprilia. I think we have a dead tie here because I would spend the $400 more honestly and I would go with the KTM. Not that I dislike the Aprilia. It's so hard to say I would take this bike over that one. Uh, it wouldn't, uh, you know, we kept saying how trackable this bike is, but it actually on freeway speeds, it's a smoother engine. You yep. feel a little bit of a thump thump going through this thing, right. you know, at 80 miles an hour in six gear. So not enough to be, you know, to complain about. But in just outside of that, and in overall, the comfort, you know, the handling, if I was 90% street with a couple of track days per year, this would be great. If I was 90% street with 20 track days per year, I would go with the Aprilia. So there you have it, really. I mean, Kevin's leaning that way, I'm leaning this way. We're going to have to go back to the uh, office and arm wrestle, jello wrestle, <laughs> fight, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, really, you can, if you bought this motorcycle, you will love it. If you bought that motorcycle, you will love it. There is, 
There is no doubt these are two of the best sporting street bikes that have ever been made. But for the full story, <laughs> you gotta go to motorcycle.com and you can do that just by clicking this link right here. Click it, <laughs> click it right here. Thank you. All right, Kevin, come on, let's jello wrestle.